What is up guys, it's the BYT here, back from another video. I'm going to be ranking every single pay-per-view from 2015 in order from worst to best. So I, there was 12, I think. Let me see. Shit, I probably should have counted, whatever. Alright, the worst one was Extreme Rules 2015. Um, um, the best match is the New Day versus Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. I just didn't like that one. It was just a very boring show. Just like all of them nowadays. So, number 11, Survivor Series. This was another boring show. Um, 4 out of 10. The best match was um, Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens. And yeah, that was a good match, but just the rest of the show sucked. I wish they would have just made it like a 16 man tournament to just 4 guys. Um, and then next we got Elimination Chamber 2015. This was like a network special, but it was only on the network. Um, I think Elimination Chamber was awful. It was the worst chamber of all time. It was so boring. And it was for the IC title. And they had also a tag team Elimination Chamber, which sucked. Divas match sucked. A lot of this, there was jobber matches on the show too. Um, then we got Fast Lane. Um, this show sucked as well. Just five out of ten. I gave it very boring. Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan was good, but that was it. That was pretty much the only good match on the show. Royal Rumble 2015 is next. You had an amazing match with Brock Lesnar on here. Seen in Seth Rollins, but and he had not another good tag match, but the Royal Rumble was awful. Probably the like the worst one in history. Or the third worst one. I think ninety three was the worst one in my opinion. All in the cell two thousand fifteen is next. Um Undertaker vs. Brock Lesnar was good. The IC title match sucked. Um, Roman Reigns vs. Bray Wyatt was good. Divas title match was boring, and so was the opener. Alberto Del Rio came back, which one of my least favorite wrestlers on the roster, so I really wasn't thrilled about that. And then we got TLC 2015. It started off really good. With a nice solid four star ladder match with the New Day, the Usos, and the Loose Dragons. And you had the Dudleys and Tommy Dream around here. Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens was good. This ended up being just an average show. The opener gave me high expectations. I mean, but it just didn't pay off. It was just boring. The Night of Champions 2015, another mediocre show. 6.5 out of 10. Yeah, this year was probably the worst year of pay-per-views there's ever been. Um, I, the opener was good. It was a nice little... Um, it was fast-paced and into a good psychology. Um, Jericho and the Wyatt family with Reigns and Amber was good, I guess. Sting versus Seth Rollins was disappointing and the U.S. title match was good. Next, Payback 2015. This was a decent show. Um, ma main event was good, the Fatal 4-Way. The tag title match was good, and so was the opener. 
of the rest, there was really El Johnson versus Rusev was decent, I guess. Right back versus Bray Wyatt sucked. So did the Divas match, like usual. Was payback after Elimination Chamber? I don't know. Shit, whatever. Um, Battleground 2015. The main event was disappointing. It was going to like nine minutes with Brock Lesnar and Rollins. I mean, going into that, we all knew that Rollins, it just didn't look realistic at all. Um, Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt was good. John Cena versus Kevin Owens was good. So this was a solid show. And then, next is Money in the Bank. 2015. Another solid show. Um, the Money in the Bank was good. Um, main event, and Kevin Owens and John Cena, that was their best match in my opinion. 4.25. 7.25 out of 10. WrestleMania 31. It's the second best show. Um... I think a lot of people overrated this because just because they thought it was really, you know, going into it, they weren't expecting much, and then it ended up being good. So they, were, I think, they overrated it just for that. Um, you had a lot of good matches though. Sting and Triple H, Rounds and Randy Orton was disappointing. The bladder match was kind of disappointing. The main event was better than expected with Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. And SummerSlam 2015 was the best one, which I didn't even watch live. <laughs> and I kind of spoiled it because I kept getting updates on my iPod on vacation. So, um, you had a lot of good matches. Like the tag match was good, the main event was really good. So was the John Cena and Seth Rollins match. Kevin Owens versus Cesaro was a good, solid match. So it was Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper, Ambrose and Roman Reigns. The card was good. Just it was pretty pretty much a stacked card. Wait, no it wasn't. <laughs> Looking at it, no it wasn't actually. The main events they had good main events, I'll say that. So yeah, eight out of ten for SummerSlam. So that was number one.